Exploring the phrase, table for two, a guide for English learners. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a commonly used phrase in English, table for two. This expression is not just about words. It's about culture, dining, and social interactions. If you've ever wondered how to use this phrase correctly, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Table for two is a phrase used primarily in restaurants. It is a request indicating that two people need a table. This phrase is commonly used when you enter a restaurant and speak to the host or hostess. It's straightforward yet polite and is an excellent example of English's practical everyday use. Imagine you and a friend decide to eat at a restaurant. Upon entering, you approach the host and say, table for two, please. This lets the staff know how many people are in your party and that you're ready to be seated. It's important to note that the number can change depending on the size of your group, like table for four or table for one. In English speaking countries, this phrase reflects politeness and efficiency. It's a mix of a request and an informative statement. Remember, the tone of voice and body language when saying this can also convey politeness and friendliness. You might hear variations like, a table for two, please, or can we get a table for two? The responses from the staff can vary too. They might say, right this way, just a moment, please? Or, do you have a reservation? Understanding these variations helps in a smooth dining experience. Let's practice with a few scenarios. 1. Casual dining. You enter a cafe and say, table for two, please. The server smiles and leads you to a table. 2. Formal restaurant. At a fancier place, you might say, Good evening, a table for two, please. The host checks their list and then guides you to your table. 3. Busy eatery. If the restaurant is crowded, after saying, table for two, the response might be, there's a 20-minute wait, is that okay? Table for two is more than just a phrase. It's a key to a pleasant dining experience in English-speaking countries. Remember, it's not just about the words. It's about the context, culture, and courtesy. Happy dining and learning! See you in our next video, where we'll explore more fascinating aspects of the English language.